Hi there, friends and fellow crafters. It's Leanne, and I am here today joining in on Christine Pattercraft's 500 subscriber hop. I'm, well, video started. I'm making a shaker. Uh, just a quick run through of everything I'm using. I have the MFT uh, mini balloon shaker and frame die set, the shaker bit uh, panels. Dovecraft's Numbers dies, a Crafter's Companion die, and paper from Scrapping for Less from a card kit last year. So what I did was I ran the, uh, the number dies with some teal cardstock using the quickie glue pen to put some glue on the front of the number so then I could stick it into the shaker bit. Now I'm putting some cat, cat scrappiness uh, confetti in the uh, shaker bits. And then I have these balloon shapes that I cut out that I'm using some tape to hold them to the back of the little shaker pouches. And this way I'm able to position them exactly how I want them on the card because I've already done all my die cutting. So as you can see, I've done my die cutting and now I can just put them all in where they go and they'll stay. I do have to fiddle with it for a little couple seconds there and tape them in, but once they're in, they won't move. And I love being able to do it this way. So for the majority of my shakers, when I make them, I do put something over the back as well as the front so that I can move it easily. So now I'm using my art glitter glue to position that panel onto this dusty rose pinky color um, card layer. And now I'm going to use my glue that doesn't want to work so I change back to the glue pen for the balloon strings to tie these balloons together. Hope this isn't too fastly sped up for you, but I know there's uh, quite a few videos in this hop, so I just wanted to conserve time. I'm gonna do a, um, clipping off the balloons ends there. I'm going to do a post over on my blog as well, and I'll try and cut some of these pictures out of the video so that you'll be able to see it. So now I'm adhering the frame for the balloons, which I use the teal color to pop those balloons a little bit. In the shakers, I used a hot pink, a light pink, and white confetti as it matches the confetti all around the uh, card panel there. So now I have my on point glue working again and I'm going to adhere the bow part of the balloon to simulate the bow tying the string. Now I will say the way my card looks now finished is a little different from the way that I left it in the video just because I felt it needed one more thing. So this uh, Let's Celebrate die is from Crafter's Companion, goes with the uh, diamond press. And I picked that up at the HSN outlet like a year ago or so. Not sure if it's still available, but I thought it was great because hey, we're celebrating Christine, so why not use the Let's Celebrate? And so now I'm going to just, I did put tape on the back of the word let's. So I'm taking the letters out of the white one that I cut to pop in to um, this one so that that pops a little bit. And there we go. Let's celebrate. 
And I'm going to put this on my A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. It is top folding. And you will see that I used white for the celebrate as well. So congrats, Christine. So proud of you. Have a great day.